Changing a diaper is a basic task that is essential to caring for a baby, and with the right approach, it can be done quickly and easily. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to change a diaper with advanced detail. 1. Gather your materials. You will need a clean diaper, wipes, diaper cream or ointment if needed, and a changing pad or a clean, flat surface to change the diaper on. 2. Place the baby on their back on the changing pad or flat surface. 3. Use one hand to gently lift the baby's legs by the ankles, and use the other hand to unsnap or unbutton the dirty diaper. 4. Gently lift the baby's bottom off the diaper and use wipes to clean away any feces, urine or other debris. Be sure to wipe thoroughly and clean all creases. 5. For girls, wipe front to back to avoid the spread of bacteria. 6. For boys, be mindful of possible spurts during diaper changes, by holding the penis downward with a clean wipe or cloth. 7. Once the baby is clean, apply diaper cream or ointment if needed, being sure to cover the entire area to prevent diaper rash. 8. Take the clean diaper and place it underneath the baby, making sure the back of the diaper is centered on the baby's waist. 9. Ring the front of the diaper up between the baby's legs, making sure the tabs are centered on the baby's waist. 10. Use one hand to hold the diaper in place and use the other hand to fasten the tabs. Make sure the diaper is snug but not too tight. The diaper should fit snugly around the waist and legs, without any wrinkles or gaps. 11. As an advanced step, you could consider using a diaper cover or wrap to prevent leaks, or cloth diapers that are environmentally friendly, and cost-effective. 12. Finally, dispose of the dirty diaper and wipes properly and enjoy your clean and happy baby. It's important to always have clean and fresh diapers and wipes on hand, as well as other essential items such as diaper cream, a thermometer, and a change of clothes. Always be prepared, especially when traveling. Additionally, it's important to be mindful of the baby's body language and signs of discomfort, such as crying or squirming, so that you can respond quickly if the baby needs attention.